Hola. Faltan dos. Two, 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 eight. Two. Buenas noches, teacher. One, eight. Good evening, good evening. We start in good one evening, minute. Teacher. Just one minute, okay? <clears throat> Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome, 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 students. How are you? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Good nice evening. to see you. How are you tonight? How are you doing, guys? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Ready? Ready to start my class with you? Ready to practice my English with you? Ready to help you as much as I can? Yes, um, sure. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. ready. Okay. Ready to participate? Ready to ask questions? Yes, sure. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Today we're going to run. We have a very busy agenda. So I hope you are ready and that you pay attention in um let's move on let me go ahead and share my screen now with you so this way we can start our class now i'm gonna call attendance later so we can enjoy our time <clears throat> here 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 there you go Tonight, we're going to go to objective number three in this lesson objective. Students um, will listen to a conversation. Are you from Seoul? This conversation is based on yes, no questions and WH questions for the bird to be. Let's watch it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future. Yes, no, and WH questions are used. Okay, so there we have a conversation <clears throat> between Tim and Jessica. Can somebody identify for me a yes no question in the conversation? Can you identify a yes no question in this conversation? <laughs> Uh, identify, la I, identify for me yes, a it yes, is. no question. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, no question. Question. Mm, are you from California, Jessica? Yes. 
That is so, a yes, no question. Are you from California, Jessica? Right? Are you from El Salvador? Are you from Canada? That is a yes, no question. Can you identify another yes, no question in this conversation, please? Are you from Are you South? From Correct. Are you from Seoul? So if I ask you guys, are you from Seoul? What would you answer? No, are you from I'm not from No, we're not. Correct. No, we're not. We're from El Salvador, right? We're from El Salvador. Um, There is one more yes, no question. Can you identify it? So is your first your language, 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 language Korean? So is your first language Korean? Excellent. Yes, no question. The answer, affirmative, yes, it is, or no, it is not. So let me ask you guys, is your first language Korean? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Repeat, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Or, or you can say, no, it isn't. 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 Watch the dog. Watch the dog. Como se decir no, it, it, isn't. Luego vamos a decir actually, repeat actually. 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 actually, actually my actually, first language. My first language. My first language is Spanish. It's, it's Spanish. So, is your first language Korean, guys? No, no it isn't. No. Actually, my no. first language Actually, is Spanish. Actually, my first language, Actually, my is, first language is, Spanish. is Spanish. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Question for you. Is your first language Spanish? Yes. Yes, it is. 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 <laughs> Wonderful job, guys. Let's continue. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next topic or the next um, slide, let's say. This is objective number 3.2. We're going to check negative statements and just no questions would be. We continue attacking just no questions. All right. Let's go ahead and check it out. Negative this time. Negatives. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be, you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say, I'm not from New York, rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now, let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So, are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. <clears throat> Am 
my early is she from Brazil is he from Chile is it Korean are you from China are we late are they in Canada if you notice the examples above you can see that we have the verb to be then the subject and finally some kind of complement in order to answer this type of questions you will typically give a short answer such as the examples that you see on the chart yes I am no I'm not yes you are no you're not yes she is no she's not yes he is no he's not yes it is no it's not yes we are no we're not yes you are no you're not yes they are no they're not now it's your turn to practice give as many examples as possible forming questions and answers and then share them in our discussion forums okay now it's our turn guys uh, in this case we but are learning when express spoken we we are learning negative statements. If you follow this formula, right? Subject, the to be, the negation word, not. Repeat, not. 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 And then not. you use the compliment. Okay. Um, we're going to say, we're going to say examples in negative okay follow the formula we're gonna say examples i'm gonna choose the subject okay the subject is gonna be the subject i and raise your hand if you can provide one example raise your hand please negative examples with the subject i virtual hands up Virtual hands up now. Go. Participation. Participation. Esas manitas virtuales arriba. Vamos, Enrique. Go ahead. One negative statement with I. I am not from USA. Bueno, USA tiene la particularidad que es del único país con, con, the, con the UK, ¿verdad? que usa el artículo de, ¿ok, Enrique? Entonces vas a decir, the United States. Ok, I am not from the United States. Ok, y recordemos de pulir acá la pronunciación de uh, el negation word. Not. 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 There you go, native speaking. Let's go, not. hey, sir, what's your It's example? Hey, sir. I am not from the Correct. I am not. Pulamos el negation word. Yo sé por qué se los digo. Not. Not. I am not from Spain. Go ahead, Wilfredo. I am not teacher English. Vamos a decir, um, I am not. El artículo an. An. Y luego, English teacher. I am not an English teacher. Repeat. I am not an English teacher. Excellent. Me lo repite cinco veces en casita y me lo escribe. All right? Please. Let's go, Melida. Right. What's your example? I'm not a doctor. Excellent. I am not a doctor. I am not a doctor. Good pronunciation, Melida. Go ahead, Ricardo. I am not an engineer. 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 Uh -huh. Ingeniero. Repeat, engineer. Engineer. An engineer. An engineer. Excellent. I am not an engineer. Repeat. I am not an engineer. I am not an engineer. Okay. Practique la repetición ahí en casita. I am not an engineer. I am not an engineer. I am not I'm an not engineer. An... All right. Repitiendo en casita. Let's go with quien más. Y los demás. Oh, my goodness. Martinez, 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 Mendez. Tiffany, go ahead. I am not from Guatemala. How do you pronounce the negation word? Not. Please, please, please. Again. I am not from Guatemala. 
Eso, se escucha mucho mejor. Thank you so much. Tiffany, Tamar, go ahead. I am not at the school. Correct. I am not at school. You are at home. Correct? Yes, it is. Excellent. There you go, Ileana. Y los demás no van a participar. Me imagino que están escribiendo sus ejemplos y cuando ya los tienen escritos y verificados por ustedes mismos, ustedes van a levantar su manita virtual, ¿verdad? Sí, Estoy haciendo yo tengo la manita levantada, All pero right. nunca me, me dijo. ¿Y a dónde está usted, mis? Permítame, permítame. I am not. I am not. A police. A police officer. I am not a police officer. Okay. ¿Quién me dijo aquí, Miss Ileana? No, es? no yo. Hey, yes. Ah, vaya. Démosle ahora, Ileana. Go ahead. Yo acabo de pasar. Oh, okay. ¿Y quién, <laughs> quién me dijo? Hazer. Ah, hey, sir. Go ahead, Miss Patran. Okay. For example, sería, I am not early tomorrow. I am not early tomorrow. tomorrow? Mm, habría que añadirle algo, fíjese, para darle más sentido. Como que early a donde, al trabajo, um, o a qué lugar, sería, al gym. I am not early tomorrow at, at class, for example. Agreguemos, okay. agreguemos, um, eh, I am not. Early tomorrow at the work, at school. Getting, work. pongamos getting. I am not getting, aunque okay, ya estamos hablando de person continuous. I am not getting early. I am not getting early tomorrow to work. Okay. Wilfredo dice, I am not a teacher. Acuérdate que English teacher sería English. English, el artículo sería an English teacher, like that. Okay, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Repit repitiendo ahí en casita. More examples, please. Eh, ¿Quién más me tiene? Nibardo, go ahead. I am not Japanese. Correct. I am not Japanese. Repeat. I am not Japanese. That intonation. Japanese. Eso, buscando la entonación ahí. Happily sounding like native speaker, right? I am not Japanese. Eh, Amalia, go ahead. I am not from Mexico. Excellent. Eh, el tono, de, el tono eh, negativo, ¿verdad? I am not from Mexico. Repeat, I am not from Mexico. I am not from Mexico. Correct, correct. Ese tono de pregunta, I am not from Mexico, es va para la pregunta. Ya vamos a llegar a la pregunta. Vamos, Elizabeth. Um, I am not happy. Ok. I am not happy. Ok. Cambio, cambiamos, cambiamos. Vamos a hacer con el subject Lo she. Voy a, conectar, a ver, okay. todos con el subject she. She. Y es negative ¿Qué? statement. Negative abajo statement la carga. with she. 35. Okay. Yo, yo. let me see. Virtual hands up, virtual hands up now. If you have it ready, virtual hands up. The subject is she, it's third person. The subject is she. Let's go, Elizabeth. Let's go, hey, sir. Sería, she is not my wife. Correct. Bueno, en su caso, como usted es chica, sería husband. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Sí, pero pues... como lo está diciendo con she, entonces, sí, no, pero no. Era he, con Cámbiemelo. él sería, he's not my wife. Oh. Sería, no, ajá, para él, ¿verdad? She's ajá. not my wife. Tiene razón, sí. ¿ok? En su caso, sí. podría decir no como, sería... she's not my sister, she's or not she's not my, my friend, ¿verdad? Ajá, sería en mi caso, sería, he's not my, my husband. Ok, perfect, thank you. Hey, sir, go ahead. Yo participé. Elizabeth, go ahead. Baja la mano, chica. No, nope. Tamar, go ahead. She's not happy. She's not happy. Okay, but el tono is she's not happy. She is not happy. Okay, cuidemos nuestros tonos que no se ni pregunta este, okay? She's not happy. She's not happy. Right? Eh, Ricardo, okay. go ahead. She is not my sister. Not or not? Not. 
She is not my sister. Okay, repeating it home. Repeating your home. She's not my sister. She's she not, not my sister. She Repeat not, it not home. My sister. Let me go ahead and listen to Enrique. Go ahead, Aurelio. Um, she's not my girlfriend. Girlfriend, correct. She's not girlfriend. my girlfriend. She's my friend. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. Están conectados. Están conectados. I love it. Let me go with Jessie. Jessenia, what's up with the girls? Jessenia, go ahead. She's not play soccer. She's not. Si usas otro verbo, porque el verbo principal es el verbo to be. Okay, si me usan otro verbo, tienen que ponerle ing en ese caso, okay? So, a play le vas a poner ing por ser un verbo secundario. ¿Me explico? Sería, she's not playing, playing, soccer. Ok, pero la pronunciación sería play, playing, playing. She's not playing. Repeat. She's not playing. Playing. Ajá. Y tu tono, cuidado con tu tono porque no es pregunta, es it's a negation. She's not playing. She's not playing, okay? Jose, go ahead, Augusto. Um, podría ser, she's not, her birthday is today. ¿Se escuchó? Yo no escucho nada ahorita. Hello, hello. Sí, ¿Se, escucha? Se, se escucha. Se escucha. Se escucha. Escucharon el ejemplo, ¿no? Sí, se escucha. Ok, ok. Ya te lo sí, corrijo. Pero... Ya te lo corrijo. Ok. Voy entonces con la asistencia, chicos. One second here. Amalia Gabriela Pérez Argueta, are you in the house? Present teacher. Ok, Daniel Enrique Martínez Velázquez. <coughs> Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Enrique Aurelio Solís Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Rocío Pastrán de Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you much. And then Ileana Elizabeth Hernández Juárez. I'm here. Okay. Jacqueline Elizabeth Cayo Rivas. Jonathan Levy Gámez Abarca. Present teacher. Jose Augusto Hernández Fernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Lilian Elizabeth Aguilar Hamburger. María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Present teacher. Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. Present teacher. Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Melida Guadalupe Canales Cruz. Present teacher. Natalia Beatriz Flores Mejía. Present teacher. Neri Gabriel Villa Gram Sandoval. Present teacher. Patricia Jamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Present teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Stephanie Daniela Maltés Vázquez. Present. Tamara Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Tatiana Alicer Ramos Gómez. Present teacher. Tiffany Guadalupe Martínez Méndez. Present. Awesome. Verónica Abigail Martínez de Reyes. Present. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. 
Present teacher. Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. William Benjamin Clara Caldames. I'm here, teacher. Yesenia Elizabeth Cañas Pascual. Present teacher. Fantastic, guys. You rock and roll. I really like this class, you know. I really like this class. Okay, ¿con quién estábamos? Eh, gentlemen, caballero, repeat your example, please. Okay. Um, podría ser, she's, she's not birthday. No, perdón, perdón. She's not her birthday today. Ah, ese sería, como estamos hablando de birthday, birthday no es una persona, ¿verdad? Ese sería ya cuando lleguemos con el sujeto, it. Podría decir, uh -huh. it is not, it is not her birthday today. Eh, pues no es su cumpleaños este día, porque estamos hablando de, uh -huh. de algo, ¿verdad? No de alguien. Uh -huh. No, ajá, como me refería a ella, pues pensé que se podría conseguir. Vaya, si te, si te querés referir a ella, sí se puede hacer, solo que tenés que hacer algunos ajustes. Um, por ejemplo, siempre vas a decir, is not, is, uh, she's not, vas a decir, she's not, y vas a agregar otro verbo, va a ser un verbo secundario, va a ser el verbo celebrate. A ver, todos repitamos, celebrate. 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 Entonces, a celebrate. celebrate, que es el verbo secundario para darle sentido a tu idea, le vamos a poner ing. Y vas a decir celebrating. Entonces diría, she is not celebrating her birthday today. Can you repeat? Uh, okay. She is not celebrating today. Her, her birthday, su cumpleaños, her birthday. Her <coughs> birthday today. Uh -huh. Bueno, te la voy a chatear, ¿ok? I'm going to chat it. She is not celebrating her birth. Pero sí me entendiste la idea, ¿verdad? Birthday. Yes, sir. Today. Perfect, perfect. A veces queremos dar unas ideas eh, y tenemos que ajustarlas un poquito. Eso lo vamos aprendiendo poco a poco, ¿ok? Pero me gusta que me den ideas. Me gusta que vayan más allá. Eh, vamos a hacer otra prueba ahora con el subject. Tratemos el subject day, que es un grupo aparte. Yo no estoy incluido, ¿verdad? Right? Yo estoy incluido en we. Pero en they es otro grupo aparte de ellas, de ellos o de estos, qué sé yo. Prepárenlo. Uh, and let me have let, let me let me have your hands raised, your virtual hands raised if you have it ready. Si lo tenés listo el ejemplo, right? Estamos en negativo, right? So if you have your example ready, raise your virtual hand now. <clears throat> okay, I only see Hazer. Go ahead, Hazer. For example, teacher, there are not in, there are not live in Mexico. De nuevo estamos usando un verbo secundario. ¿Qué pasaría con el verbo live? Sería, there are not living. Correcto, Mexico? correcto. Pulamos la pronunciación de ellos o ellas. They, así como día. ¿Cómo se dice día? They, there are así, not. Así, they are not. Not living in Mexico. They, Lo primero. they are not. They are not living in Mexico. Correct, correct, correct. El tono, el tono. They are not living in Mexico. They are not living in Mexico. Mm -mm. No, porque siempre me la hace como que es pregunta, como que me está diciendo, bueno, y entonces ellos no están viviendo en México. Es, es una negativa. Entonces ese tono de preguntita tiene que modificármelo hasta que lleguemos a las preguntas. Yo entendía que la pregunta sería, are they not in, in, living in Mexico? No. En la pregunta sí, inicia con el verbo to be. Pero yo le hablaba de su tono de voz. Hay que modificarlo. Vamos a ver, Enrique. Okay. What you got, Enrique? Ok. Este, they are not, they are not students. They are not students, correcto. They are not students. Vilma, go ahead. 
They are not watching TV. Correct. They are not watching TV. You got a girl. Uh, put your hands down. Okay, participate and put your hands down. Ricardo, go ahead. They are not smiling. All right. They are not smiling. You use the secondary verb correctly, Ray. Good job. Tiffany, go ahead. They are not very nice. I'm sorry, repeat. They are not very nice. Okay, pulamos la negation word not. They are not they very are nice. Not, not very nice. Ajá, uh -huh. they are not very nice. O sea que son algo grosero, ¿verdad? O groseras, uh, dependiendo tu contexto. They are not very nice. Thank you, Tiff. Let's go with um, Marvin. They are not playing basketball. Igual, fíjate, gramaticalmente perfecto, pero igual que la compañera, tu, tu entonación es de pregunta. Um, tienes que hacer la entonación de negativa, right? They are not playing soccer. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are not playing basketball. Or basketball, yeah, that's right, that's right. Así suena mejor. That's right. Tenemos un chat. They are not from New York. Good job, Patricia. They are not from New York. Thank you. Let's go with Sabrina. It's El. They are not a doctor. Vaya, como es plural, Sabrina, vas a eliminar el artículo A. Quítaselo, por favor, porque no okay. estamos hablando de una persona, sino que son varias personas. Y doctor va a pasar a ser plural. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con doctor para hacerlo plural? Sería, they are not a doctor. They are not doctors. Excelente. ¿Me lo repites nuevamente para la clase? Fuerte y claro. They are, they are not doctors. Excelente. They are not doctors. Escríbeme ejemplos singulares y a la par plurales. Porfa, Sabrina, unos cinco ejemplos así. Por ejemplo, um, de, uh, I am a doctor. They are not doctors. O conjugando todos los uh, subject pronouns. Vamos a hacer un cambio ahora que ya usamos we. Thank you. I'm sorry. Ya usamos they. Usemos it. Usemos it. Si usamos it, estamos hablando de algo, no de alguien. Estamos hablando de un animal, de una cosa, de un lugar, de un pensamiento, de una idea, etc. For example, it is not my turn. No es mi turno. It is not my turn. It is not my class. Estoy hablando de algo, no de alguien. It is not my house. Etc. Prepare your examples and you chat them. Hazer ya estuvo. Oh my goodness. Esa participación de Hazer está up to date. It is not my house. Excelente. Vamos con hands raised. Hands raised to check your pronunciation also. Elena, go ahead. It is not my book. Correct, Elena. Good job. Tamar, go ahead. It is not my cap. My cap. Okay, tu taza. <laughs> my my... Cap. Oh, your cat. Okay, oh, yes. okay. It is not my cat. Excellent. Let me it see. It is not my cat. I see, Miss. You got it. Al principio se escuchó como cup, como cup, como C U P, cup of coffee, cup, tacita, pero no. Ahora lo aclaraste bien. It is not my cat. Y Amalia dice, it is not my dog. Correct. Uh, let's go with Ricardo. It is not my car. It is not my car. Nivardo, go ahead. It is not my bicycle. Excellent. Melida, go ahead. It is not sunny today. Correct. It is not sunny today. Wonderful. Hey, sir, go ahead. It is not my newspaper. It is not my newspaper. Very good. Tiffany, go ahead. It is not my computer. It is not my computer. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Enrique, go ahead. It is not my job. It is not my job. It's your job. All right. Elizabeth, go ahead. It is not my coffee. 
it is not. It is not my. It is not my coffee. Correct. It is not my coffee. Excellent, guys. Good job. Congratulations. And thank you so much for your participation. Okay. Let's continue with the next step. The next step is about making questions. We're going to make questions and to make questions with the bird to be, uh, we're going to replace, we're going to change position. The bird to be that was in the second place uh, on the negatives or affirmatives is gonna change into the first place. Plus subject, plus compliment, plus a beautiful question mark. As you can see, are you from California? Am I early? Is she? Is he? Is it? Are we? Are they? Okay. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a jugar con preguntas. Right? Y vamos a hacer short role plays usando esas mismas preguntas. Um, vamos a hacer preguntas. Usemos el subject. I. I. Everybody preparing questions. Now it's questions. Prepare questions, yes, no questions with the subject I. A ver cómo les queda. If you have it ready, raise your virtual hand. I have Ricardo Ruiz. ¿Qué participación más alta tiene usted, caballero? Lo felicito. Thank you, teacher. What's your example, sir? En eh, forma de pregunta dijo... Yes, sir. The subject is I. Am I a teacher? Good job. The answer is... No, you're not, right, Ricardo? You're not. No, you're, you're not, not a not teacher. Correcto. Ah, no, pero usted me tendría que decir I am not, I am not. I am not a teacher. Okay, yo sí le puedo decir you're not. Okay, Ricardo, so you're not a teacher, right? Very good, very good. Elena, go ahead. Gracias, Okay, teacher. Um, am I, am I a good student? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're an excellent student. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, Enrique, go ahead. Am I, guys? Am I? Am um, I? Uh... Like this, am I? <clears throat> am I hungry? Did you say hungry or angry? Hungry. Hungry, like like hambriento. Yes. I think yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey sir, go ahead. Ahora sí es a question, Hazer. Es entonación oh, para arriba. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, podría ser, I am not going to the right way. Me dijo, I am. I am not going to the right, the right way. Uh, so, si fuera ejemplo, negativa, sí. Pero estamos en pregunta ahorita. Ah, ok. Entonces solo sería, I am going the, the right way. No, it's still incorrect. Hay que seguir la fórmula. Mírame aquí. Vamos, o sea, I, am, I am dancing ground? No, honey. Tiene que no. seguirme la fórmula. ¿Qué va primero y qué va después? Por eso. I, 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 I dance Ahora ground? sí, ahora ah, sí. Okay. Am I, am I. Ok. Uh -huh. Am I? Entonces cambiamos el verbo to be al primer lugar. Melida, go ahead, Melida. Am I a shy person? Um, I don't know. That's a difficult <laughs> question. But it's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Wilfredo, go ahead. What is your question? Am I good friend? Eh, te falta el artículo A. Ah. Am I a? Ah? Am I a ah? good friend? Good, good friend. friend. Good friend. Okay. Am uh, I a good friend? Repeat. Am, am I, I a good friend? friend? Y tu tono. Am I a good friend? Para arriba. Correcto. Porque es mm -hmm. question. Okay. okay. Let's go, Tiff. Am I a dentist? Excellent. Excellent. Buen tono. Am I a dentist? Hacia arriba. 
Marvin, go ahead. Am I lost? Am I lost? Lost. Am I lost? Estoy yo perdido, ¿sí, verdad? Am I lost? Am I lost? <laughs> no, you're not lost. You're very intelligent. Let's go, Jesenia, go ahead. Thanks. My pleasure. Am I funny? <laughs> I think so. Yes, you are. Thank you, Jesenia. Let's go, Tamar. Am I a doctor? Am I a doctor? Very good. Am I a doctor? Let's go, Jose. Am I um, intelligent? Can you repeat, please? Am I intelligent? Yes. Yes, you are. Very intelligent. Cambiamos el I, vamos a hacerlo con you. Ahora la pregunta es para usted. Usted la hace a, a la segunda persona. Are you? Uh -huh. Are you? Preparando su pregunta, please. Are you? For example, for example, si yo les hago la pregunta, are you Salvadorans? Are you Salvadoran? ¿Qué me dirían? Yes, you are. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, porque la pregunta es para yes, ti. Yes, yes. Are you? Oh, yes, yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I yes, am. am. Correcto. Yes, y si fuera negativa, no, I am not. Uh -huh. yeah. No, I am no, not. I okay. Am not. Let me see your hands, your virtual hands up. Let me see your virtual hands up so you can give me, so you can give me an example like that. Are you? Okay, Jose Augusto, go ahead. Um, ¿Cómo tendría que ser el ejemplo de la fórmula? Vaya, fíjate, aquí está tal cual, mira, porque estamos usando you, right? Entonces vas a decir, are you, y tú vas a usar el complement. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. No, es negativa, ¿verdad? No, es pregunta, es pregunta. Por ejemplo, are you happy? Mm, entonces, podría ser, are you angry? Are you angry? Vamos a ver estos chats. Are you a student? Muy bien, Karen. Felicidades por usar tu artículo, que a muchos se nos olvida el artículo con los singulares. Are you a student? Are you married? Dice Patricia, ¿estás casado? Are you married? Muy buenas preguntas. Um, espérame, esta... Casa. I am not an actress. Te faltó el artículo ahí. I am not an actress. ¿Qué más? Vamos a decir, Yesenia. Go ahead, Yesenia. Are you artist? Te falta el artículo. Y como artist comienza con sonido vocal, vas a, vas a decir an. An artist. Are you an artist? Correct. Así. Correct. Go ahead, Marvin. Are you cooking? Are you cooking? <laughs> no, no, I'm not cooking. I am teaching. Yeah. Thank you so much. Tamar, go ahead. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am an English teacher. Thank you. Rick, go ahead. Are you a police officer? I look like, but no, I am not. <laughs> I am not a police officer. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Elena Peralta. Are you tired today? Mm, no, no, I'm not. I'm very fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Iliana, go ahead. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. I am an English teacher. Okay. Elizabeth, Thank go you. ahead. My pleasure. Are you a sub? Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo me pusiste a? ¿Qué es uno o una? Ah, okay. okay. Are you sub? Ajá, eso te quería explicar. Puedes decir, are uh -huh. you a sad person? Si usas el a. Are ah, you a okay. sad person? O si no, solo, are you sad? Okay. Are you sad? No, no, I'm not sad. I'm very happy today. <laughs> Thank you. Wilfredo, okay. shoot your question. <laughs> Tiffany, shoot your question. Are you single? Are you single? Very good. Yes, I am single. Are you single? Um, Amalia. Me, yes. Excuse me, no tenía sonido. Ah, ok, dale, dale. Are you a postman? 
Are you a postman? No, I'm not a postman. Sí. Vamos a ver, pero está bien tu pregunta. Excelente pregunta. Vamos a ver, new chats. Are you a nurse? Muy bien, Amalia. Are you a nurse? Hazel, la mayúscula. Capital letter. Are you, are you fire? Y el signo de pregunta, ¿qué pasó? Está malo. Entonces, en el question mark está malo. Punto menos. Oh, my gosh. La escritura es súper importante también. Are you bad? Pero falta el question mark. Are you friend? Podría tener sentido si decimos Are you friends? Ustedes son amigos Con la S Are you an engineer, Tatiana? Teacher, are uh -huh. you practicing a lot? Pero no sé si así se escribe Are you? Are you practicing a lot? Are you practicing a lot? Are you practicing a lot? Are you enjoying to teach English? Yes, I am enjoying to teach English I love it Are you sick? Excelente Bueno Sigamos, chicos. Qué buena participación ustedes. Sí que vienen bien comido a la clase. Eso me encanta. Right. No, teacher, lo que pasa es que nos mandaron un mensaje que nos van a sacar de clase. Ah, eso es. <risa> en serio, para los que no tenemos asistencia, participación, no sé. Incluso a mí me mandaron que yo no he hecho todo lo de la semana y ya lo terminé. No sé por qué me mandan eso. Ouch. Serio, mis. Lo lamento mucho. <risa> Bueno, vamos aquí a los uh, syllable stress. Syllable stress, el siguiente tema de esta noche. Y tenemos los numbers. Let's check the numbers. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables and we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only used in long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers, and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay, one more time, Hi, guys. Uh, this... Try to try to repeat in your home. Uh, activate, um, put the mute, pónganle mute, y practíquenlo repitiendo en casa, all right? Deactivate your microphone. As you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress 
and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers, and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30. You'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookru.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and move on. Next topic today. We're gonna check the numbers from 11 to 100. Three. How's that? We're going to talk about numbers in ages. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website, bookaroo.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums. Already, already. Any question? Any question about the video, about the pronunciations or so? Um, tomorrow we will practice about saying the ages in English, like when you say your age, the question is, how old are you? Repeat, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Y cuando le hacemos rápido, me entienden como que estoy diciendo how are you, right? Pero es how, how old are you? How, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? 
Bueno, vamos a responder I am. Vamos a dar el número y decimos years old. For example, me, I am 36 years old. Ok. Para el día de mañana me van a dar su edad. Right? Y me van a dar la edad de al menos dos familiares de ustedes. Ok. Ok. All right, let's go over the attendance. Amalia Gabriela Pérez Arqueta. I'm here, teacher. Eh, Daniel Enrique Martínez Velázquez. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present. Enrique Aurelio Solís Martínez. Present, teacher. All right, Enrique Aurelio Solís Martínez. Hazel Rocío Pastrán. De Enríquez. Presente. Elena Elizabeth Hernández Juárez. Present. Jacqueline Elizabeth Calles Rivas. Jonathan Levy Gámez Abarca. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. José Augusto Hernández Fernández. Present teacher. Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Present teacher. Lilian Elizabeth Aguilar Hamburger. María Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Marlon Ibardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Sorry, teacher. I'm here, teacher. Eh, se me desactivó el sonido. No Marisa problem. No problem, Miss <laughs> vale. Elizabeth. I got it. Melida Guadalupe Canales Cruz. Present teacher. Natalia Beatriz Flores Mejía. Teacher present. Neri Gabriel Villagram Sandoval. Present teacher. Patricia Jamilet Martinez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Present teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. I'm here, teacher. Stephanie Daniela Maltes Vázquez. Present, teacher. Tamara Alexandra Portillo Melara. I'm here, teacher. Tatiana Lisette Ramos Gómez. Present, teacher. Tiffany Guadalupe Martínez Méndez. Present. Verónica Abigail Martínez de Reyes. Vilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Present, teacher. Wilfredo Bonilla Álvarez. Present teacher. William Benjamín Clara Galdames. Present teacher. Yesenia Elizabeth Cañas Pascual. Present. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. I have to go. You have a good night. Okay. William? William Benjamín Clara? Yes. Yes, aquí te tengo. No problem. Sí, sí. No problem, sir. Guys, I have to go. See you tomorrow. Good night, 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 night. See you tomorrow. Good night, See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Goodbye, everyone. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take it easy.